it's really the smaller things that really matter in your routine and honestly that's the best advice i can give you just be patient and wait on it wait you know like some of y'all just gotta wait and be patient like What's good, YouTube? I'm back again for another video. I hope you guys are having a blessed day today. If you haven't subscribed already, make sure you leave a, leave a like. I would really appreciate it, but thank you guys for watching. Thank you for clicking on the video. Today, I wanted to give you guys a quick rundown tutorial how you guys can grow your curls out, how you can get your curls popping this summer. So basically, he's asking, what can I do for my hair texture? He's a 3A hair type, and I'm a 3A, 3B hair type, so I can kind of help you um, with your hair, I would say to use Shea Moisture. I have, hold on, let me let me show you the product. So I'm using this product a lot lately just because it's a leave-in and it's, it's super quick and easy. But you guys can use this if you want. You don't have to, but I mean, I'm, I'm saying that this is probably the best product I've ever used from Shea Moisture and just in general. I've been growing my hair out for a while now. I recently cut it, so you know, it's not as long as it used to. So yeah, if you guys wanna test this out, this is one of the best products I've used and I've used many products, but I would suggest using that one. It's super quick, super easy. And if you guys want a tutorial, the tutorial's up there. It's how to, you know, put it in your hair and when to put it in your hair, because a lot of people don't know. Use conditioner and shampoo every day, okay? You're not supposed to use shampoo every day. You're not supposed to use conditioner. Every day of the week, you use it three to four times a week for conditioner. I hope that answered your question though. And I'm gonna move on to the next one because I don't have much time. <laughs> um, so this guy wants to know how he can grow his hair out even more because he has, you know, he has hair, silky hair, he said, but it's not as long as mine. When I did grow my hair out, I used oil and not just any oil. You gotta get argan oil, coconut oil, and those oils are usually in products. So you gotta check the product on the back probably says what type of oil it has but if you get the one with argan oil or tea tree mint oil those all are really good and they work really well in curly hair so you know they grow out your hair two times faster so definitely use oil um and this this question is a general question i've been getting a lot in my on all my videos in the past and, and even now i still get this question but you guys are asking me how you can actually train your hair if even if you don't have a certain hair texture, you don't have curly hair, you can train your hair to be curly. I'm not saying get a perm, but like if your hair is naturally curly, how you can finger coil it and you can train your hair to be curly. It's, it's not that complex, it's very simple. Just grab your strands of hair and go like this. And it really does help your hair. It really does change your hair texture. And you know, while you're putting in the product, like let's say I have this product, boom, I apply it curl my hair and it's it really trains your hair to be curly it's super simple and it's not it's not like you need any comb or any special thing you just literally train your hair with your finger coil it and your hair will be curly this is a question i get a lot like all the time so i hope that answers some of you guys that are interested in getting curly hair when you don't actually have curly hair oh this is a really good question i actually didn't answer this one for some reason but i'll answer it now in my video so he wanted to know he's been growing his hair out for a month and he wanted to know how he can grow it, grow it out faster and how long it took to get my hair like that so at first when i first started it took me about two months to actually get it to the point where you know it can curl get in like a curl pattern wait and just be patient take your time and don't rush you know that's when you get super stressed and then you start overthinking and then you you cut your hair off <laughs> You know, you don't have hair after that. So like, you really gotta be patient. And so you really just gotta, you know, wait for your hair and it will grow out. Just keep doing your routine. Um, like every day you're gonna put in oil in your hair and then you're gonna train your hair with your finger or finger coil it, massage your head while you're shampooing. If you do those things like over and over, they're gonna grow your hair out five times faster than you'd expect. So it's really the smaller things that really matter in your routine. and. Honestly, that's the best advice I can give you. Just be patient and wait on it. Wait, you know, like some of y'all just gotta wait and be patient. Like what's wrong with just stopping and just chilling? It just takes patience and you know, it's not rocket science. It's not like you guys have to think too much. If you have any other tips, make sure you leave it down below. I love you guys for all of the support on my last video. Make sure you guys stay happy, stay positive, stay winning, and I'll see you guys in my next video.
Peace out. Peace.